everyone, welcome to another video on the JB hey. and Millie channel and it has been a while but we have an island tour for you all today which we are really excited about. So this is our island, this is Millotopia. JV came up with this theme a little while ago to have a great Gatsby island and we had been uploading a few speed builds of sections that we've done but this is like the finished product. Yeah, so it's a long time in the making, but I think it's worked out perfectly because we are just in time for fireworks season. So I guess Millie will take you through the island. And for those of you that may need a bit of a refresher course on some of the references, I'll be here to convey those points. So this is gonna be the walk up to Gatsby's mansion for the party. I love the use of the confetti machines here, that was like JV's contribution. Like yeah, the festival items were an absolute godsend when it came to this type of stuff. The only issue is really, is that like with you know, Parve's things, you couldn't get the DIYs. So it was literally just a case of travelling back if we were short of things and catching the feathers. Which is no problem really, but again, it would have just been really nice to have those DIYs there. It would. So this is the first section. This is where you can pick some drinks and stuff up on the way to the party. Heading up a little bit, you can either go up to the mansion here or Gatsby's neighbour Nick lives along this little pathway. Yeah, so this is the home of Nick Carraway in the kind of new modern day DiCaprio take on things. This was played by Tobey Maguire, who's a big nostalgic actor for me because, of course, they were the original Spider-Man, so I really do <laughs> like it from that point of view as well. So again, JB, do you want to offer us a little refresher on the scene that's recreated here? Yeah, so you've done this really well. It's so accurate. So if you look at the fireplace there... There's a clock on the... Is it called a mantelpiece? Yeah, the mantelpiece. Yeah. Or the hearth. And that's pretty much because at the start of that movie, like when they first go to that scene when everything is done up for Daisy visiting, Gatsby is a bit nervous and a bit clumsy and actually knocks a clock over that's in that exact same position. And I guess more on that point, they're coming around for tea. There's flowers everywhere because Gatsby, of course, goes a bit over the top in trying to impress Daisy and like hires an army of people to make sure that there were enough flowers here for Daisy. There's also a scene where if you're looking back into the hallway when two people are speaking, there is like a huge cake like this there as well. Yeah, it's very accurate and you've actually done such a great job with this. And of course, even like the way that this is situated... It's right next to Gatsby's house, which is how it is in the book, in the in the movie as well. And yes, this was like kind of your touch. You kind of took what I said about the flowers and made your own spin on things. Yeah, just to overemphasize how much effort went into that. And it's fantastic. It really is. I do like this a lot. And I think the concept was a bit out there in terms of how many people are going to know the references and stuff. But at its heart, I think with it being a 1920s core, especially yeah. when we get later on into things, I just think it was such a good idea. I mean, this is how mad JB is. He came up with this concept before we had the festival items. We literally just had the champagne glasses from New Year and he was like, oh yeah, I want to do this. Yeah, I don't know what I was envisioning. No, more correctly, he was like, I want you to do this. <laughs> yeah, like, please, I need your talents. I can't so, do it. Heading up to Gatsby's Mansion, if you listen, I'm hoping you can hear the music start to play and stuff. We tried to build a bit of an atmosphere. I'm just going to move over near the speakers in case that didn't work. Maybe. I mean, I, we've got kind of different music with it being the fireworks, but it's like... I don't know. I'm almost a bit disappointed because I feel like when we set like the dream address, like obviously we'll reveal that at the end of the video, it's going to be a situation where you can't see the fireworks. And not that the fireworks make it, but it definitely does yeah. add to the... Ambiance of and things. Look, as we were approaching there, it was our Gatsby fireworks as well, the JG and the blue eyes. Yeah, the, there's like a special name for the blue eyes, like Dr. Engelbert or something. It's like a, it's a profound thing. My English teacher spent like a whole lesson talking about how <laughs> it was like the eyes of God and then judging all the people, like all the characters and what they were doing, like he sees all. So it was like, yeah, it's, it's important kind of iconography. And here we have Gatsby's mansion and of course one of the iconic parties. So we tried to get some outfits to kind of fit with the theme, make it look like it was like a busy party. Yeah, you got flappers, and it's literally like what um, Nick Carraway was saying in like the original. There's, you know, high school defectors, there's party goers, there's lords, bank managers. Like there's at Gatsby's parties, there's a variety of people that are just going there 
to have a good time because of course this was around about the same time as some of the prohibition laws were in force so one of these private parties was the only way to really get that kind of lifestyle work and i think it's been captured perfectly especially here like this is amazing Thank you. and that's clip springer's piano again another iconic scene from I guess it's more stylized on the DiCaprio movies rather than the Redford movie. But I love that. And there it is, Gatsby's intro. And the fireworks on the background. I'm just kind of geeking out on this because Nick's just there at the end of the at like the end of the first party and the guy's like, Did you not hear? I'm Gatsby and he like raises his champagne glass whilst there's fireworks in the background. And like, so I haven't actually fully watched all this movie all the way through. I tend to fall asleep when we watch movies and JB was like after this island tour we're going to watch it, and you're going to know how well you did. I mean, I don't want to say too much about this scene, uh, because it gets a bit dark, but if you know, you know. Like, this is based on an iconic scene towards the end. Um, yeah. And is. here we have the house! Yay! So this is the Gatsby Mansion, which I'm really looking forward to. So this is the ballroom. Again, there's stuff that Clothes Springer can use, and this is kind of ballroom. They have, like, a few scenes there, don't they? Mm. And to this side, we have another one of the party rooms. This I tried to recreate from an image that JB showed me. So yes. there's kind of the staircases up. So I tried to do these custom panels to show the staircase up in the background. Um, there's a band there. There's a pool in the middle. So, yeah, this was just the best I could do. I'm yeah, there's sorry. like a montage where you have this song playing, like, a little party never killed nobody, and it's like a, almost like a Will I Am type of, like, techno remix of a 20s song. But yeah, this is this is perfect. This is literally, like, the pool party from that, where they're all diving in. It's honestly, it's really good. Thank I you. I like it. I admire what you've done. I appreciate it. <laughs> so, to the back here, we have Gatsby's office, and I think... A few of these ideas I personally contributed just from what JB was telling me. Yeah, so like, I've been a bit gobby throughout this video so far, so I'm going to kind of take a back seat now because I think you've really made this your own thing now. Yeah, so JB and I love books, so when it comes to creating offices, I like to be involved. And one part of the Great Gatsby movie, the uh, Leonardo DiCaprio one especially, he talks about being on boats and travelling around the world. So this table here... It's just like a homage to that part of the movie. Um, at the same time, a library, I believe you said, was quite prominent, hence the bookcases. And as well, just because he's got so much money, he's going to have a nice office. So <laughs> all that kind of like combined is what created this, I think. Yeah, and again, this is based on a scene in that kind of section as well, where there's this kind of old man that talks about Gatsby. You know, having have met Gatsby, how Gatsby is just a myth. So again, very mysterious scene there. And also I was thinking, because it was like, the boat and stuff was kind of his personal life, not the actual Gatsby image, it's almost hidden behind here. Yeah. Just to kind of have that level of privacy. Because that's the type of stuff that Gatsby reveals to Nick as the like the book and the movie go on. Yeah. It's, it's not something that's just, hey, this is what Gatsby is about. This room in the basement is where I took over, and I don't think JB 100% got my concept. But I was thinking, if he's having all these parties, there's going to be lots of food. So this is to represent like a kitchen where he's probably got people working. And these here are the trays and trolleys that they're ready to take out when they've prepared everything for the parties. I do like that. So that's the theory behind this. I can't say that it's like a direct movie reference. It's just my own personal take on stuff. I guess it makes sense. I mean, there would be catering. There's like, shown to be a lot of employees at the party. So even fleshing out that world a bit, like this is where everything is made. I like that a lot. It's like Harry Potter, like the feast just appears. But if you read the books, you know, it's because there's like a kitchen full of like house elves. Yeah. It's like behind the scenes. So here is the next scene. Now, this is a direct reference to a scene. The one thing that upset me about this is you can't drop clothes in the house. We were just going to have these dropped but we couldn't do that, so instead I've had to kind of just do a design for things thrown around a little bit. Um, so JB, this scene? Yeah, um, it's it's part of like, it's after the party and stuff, after the dinner with Daisy in Nick's house, where Gatsby invites Daisy over, along with Nick afterwards, to impress her. And there's like a scene where he's like going through all his outfits that he's got imported from the UK, India, places like that. And he just starts like throwing them around almost like a bit of a flex. And so yeah, this is all of Gatsby's flex outfits scattered on the floor. 
And again, that's just iconic. And the last one, again, not a direct movie reference, just something that I personally put together, and that's like a dinner party thing. Again, trying to fit in with the party theme, and at this point, I'd kind of run out of movie references to create. Yeah. But the wedding day furniture is just so impressive that I just think that it just fits in with that like manner f- theme and feel so well. Yeah, it's very elegant. I guess the only other option would have been to have like a massive room dedicated to pressing oranges to make orange juice because that's kind of a big thing in the at least the like the recreated movie. But that would have just been like a load of palm tree fruits just being scattered around and I don't think it would have it kind of would have taken you out of that manor house vibe um have we when are you oh yeah oh my god so there's like a little bar for the party at this side as well oh that takes me back to all the winter items we've got our Gatsby fireworks in the background I love that um I'm gonna go back to the left here for you now I know what you're about to say but yeah like drums scattered (laughs) around food for the party um just I enjoyed this so much. I want to go to this party. So just off the side of the party, still Gatsby's area, JB. Again, another cool reference. Like they have this montage. It's like it's almost like we're going in chronological order. This is really nice. It's like we're telling the movie <laughs> on this journey on this island tour. But after the tour of Gatsby's house, they go on this bit of like a romantic montage where like the song "Young and Beautiful" plays and. Uh, for some reason, Nick's there. Nick's like the best third wheel in the world in this movie. Um, at least, uh, it's different in the book. This is based on the second like recreated movie. I'm just saying that right now. This isn't an intellectual island tour by any means. But one day it might be. Maybe. Um, but they play golf on this kind of like jetty, I want to say. So that's what this is a reference to. Yeah, and again, just another little side area where you can go from the party. And it's just nice. You've done such a great job. Like, there's legitimately moments, especially coming up, where I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, without even seeing, like, the movie that it's based on properly, like, you've created this in, like, such a great way that it blows my mind. And again, I'm going to let you continue to tell the story here. So this is where we get to learn more into Gatsby's personality. Of course, it's surrounded in forests. It's not like Gatsby and Nick live in the middle of a massive booming city. They live in a place, I think they live in West Egg and Tom and Daisy live in East Egg or maybe I've got that the other way around. But the symbolism for Daisy, his his wanting for Daisy is this green light at the end of the at the end of the port. The end of the dark? Yeah, dark something. And this is what this symbolizes. Yeah, is, uh... so they live across the lake from each other. And like, I tried to do that. Like, it's fantastic. Literally... But it just looks nice. It's a nice area, isn't it? Like It really is. I really enjoy the cherry blossom pattern as well. I found that on Twitter, I think. And this is just a nice little park area. Even if you don't know what the movie is, you can, just come and have you a little can sit appreciate down. this, I think. Let's sit on one of the little benches. Look at that. This is just such a nice place. Look at that. And with the fireworks, that's stunning yeah. as well. I also love what you've done with like, the rocks and stuff. Like, I could never Thank have you. even thought to use these. Things. Can I be honest? Like The inspiration I took from this is... Um, for those of you who knew the Nintendo Guru, um, we watched one of his speed builds, and he was just so good at the placement of things, just like having an individual one of the fences and then a flower and then a hedge and then some stone. There was just one speed build they did that was very much in this theme and I'd never done any island design like that but I was just like, you know what, that looks really good, I'm going to try and do it. So that's where the inspiration came from, from that. Yeah, very, very talented creator and like huge, huge, like amazing person. Like, it's, it's really good because one day we've got some Nintendo Guru like custom designs of their face and stuff. I really want to make a firework display just dedicated to them at some point and maybe post it on Twitter or something. But yeah, huge thank you to them because I think everything to do with Animal Crossing that we've learned we owe to them um, at this point. So yeah, that's amazing. I like that. Then we came come into Daisy's house this way. So at the back of the garden, there's a nice little private beach area to relax. Um, heading up here, you can come up to the main house, which I've got the museum as because the museum just looks great from the outside. And it does line up. Like if you look in the the Caprio movie at Tom Buchanan and Daisy's house, it literally does look like the museum. So 
it the stairs up and stuff. Yeah, it wasn't like we had to go, right, we need, we've got this massive structure that we're going to have to like flop in the middle of nowhere. It all lined up perfectly, yeah. like it was meant to be. And she loves horses as well, so over here we've created the stable. And the, they're into, what is it? Is it polo? Is it... Yeah, polo. Yeah, he's the polo player. Which? This was your genius, and I can't get over it. Like, the polo ball, and like, the pearl using that as like, the, oh my gosh. <laughs> that was you. next level. There's an iconic scene as well, where she's riding a horse up towards the house, I believe. Yeah. So, that is right here. There's the horse, the little ride on one here. And also another polo scene to the side. So this is fantastic, and again, just thinking about the geography of the island, the fact that between the Gatsby house that we've just been to and Daisy's house is that light. It's just so accurate to the source material. I just love doing this because it, JB did come to me with a concept like, I want this, this is my idea, this is what I want it to look like, here's some pictures, I don't have a clue how to do it, you do it. And I was like, I've never seen the movie, what do I do? And I'm just so happy with how it turned out. So. Again, they've got really nice entrance to the house with the fountain and the car as well. Yeah, the car we struggled with a little bit because we didn't know what to use for a 1920s car. But the this only looks one we can okay, think of is you know? the moon buggy, and it does look fine. Like, get rid of like the radar dish, and it isn't too far off to like the automobiles that you saw at the time. I guess we could have used those ones, like the kind of face cut out ones, but then that I think would have just taken away from, like if you look up, yeah. I think it would have just blocked too much of that kind of, the top of the house off. Yeah. To get rid of the, the, and there's always the modern car beds, but they just do look too modern, too bright. Way too modern. So continuing on with the story, you come across to the garage, the <sighs> garage. I like that. Um, there's one of the modern ones, but I think in like, I guess it makes more sense why we've used them now when it comes up. And in a garage, your car can be taken a bit apart as well, so it could just be that this is like the underneath or something. Yeah, I think this is the one that's a bit confusing, because I think in hindsight we would have moved all this somewhere else. And just made this like an extension of what we see coming up, but yeah, this is it. So I think we're going to leave JB's house out, right? This yeah. isn't stylized. that's just... Some... I've still got a video dedicated to that, and I'm determined to do it. It was meant to be our 1,000 subscribers special, but I'm going to do it at some point. So good things coming out. So I guess as they're heading into the city from Daisy's house, you do pass the garage, right? Yeah. And I, then head down into the city. I guess ideally it would be... Ideally we would have made the Valley of Ashes and then New York, but as it... As it happens, it, it does work okay, and there is still a connection to that because we have, like, I think you place a gas pump within the Valley of Ashes yeah. to say this is where it would have been if we'd had more space. So, this here is the city New York, NYC. Um, and of course, the speakeasy. So, if you go to the post office, there's a secret entrance behind. So, if you look up, you can see the city there as well. Oh, that is gorgeous. But this is the speakeasy. So you can see the drinks, there's some music. Yeah, I really like it. And then, like I said, just looking up at the city as well. That is stunning. Oh, I do love that a lot. And then you can get secret deliveries to the speakeasy through this little alleyway as well. It is stunning. It really is. And just New York in general. It's very ambitious and it would have been difficult to go full-blown urban core. But at the same time, I feel like there's a blend between that and yeah. the theme that is just undeniably awesome. Like, I, I don't think you could have done a better job of all this. And this is the first skyline I've ever done as well. And I've always admired them when we do island tours and never managed to do them. But I think New York has that iconic bridge so you can see there's kind of like a ta some taxis or something going along there. And then there's the like um, skyscra skyscrapers and yeah, stuff. It's quite a few iconic bridges, like the George Washington Bridge and things like that. I just tried, okay. <laughs> and then you get the stores along the front in the city here as well. Um, oh my gosh, Lily's oh. partying. Lily, what are you doing? This is a New York street. <laughs> okay, and then you talked about the Valley of Ashes. So you wow. can see the petrol thing here, the fuel tank thing that you wanted. The iconic Valley of Ashes thing with the eyes as well. Uh-huh. I made that custom design when you were asleep one day, I think, didn't I? I think so. I was quite happy with that. And then I think there's some like quite prominent train lines as well. So you can see the train lines end here. 
But yeah, this is just all the Valley of Ashes. I like it a lot. And it, I, I admire you for this because I just thought it was so easy to just make it look awful. But you've actually designed things around it. Like, Even the I, campsite yeah, fits okay here. Items that I would have never thought of used, you've used, and I, I really like it. <laughs> I thought these represent the end of a train line really well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm very happy. So the next location, Gatsby. For all I don't think they ever go, Gatsby invites Nick to Coney Island. Yeah. So. And this... again, we've never been to this place. We just kind of heard that it was like a fun fair of sorts. So. Yeah. So please forgive us if this is inaccurate. But here we go. Wow. And I tried to create a roller coaster. I don't know what you think, but. Oh no, what are we doing? We Look at- Oh my god, look! Look, he's buzzing with that. <laughs> what a great day. Let's screenshot that. That's actually really fun. I really like that. Oh, poor JB. He's terrified. That's amazing. But I think ultimately he's having a good time, so... I want to see... If I can do that. Because, like, the little bar on the floor there is supposed to represent the end of the roller coaster as well. So yeah, that's just the best I could do. And then the pier here says that you can get tickets and stuff for some of the rides. Wow. This is, this is iconic. Also just a little like cafe restaurant area for the Coney Island as well. Oh, there's gruff in the background. Oh, and so. Oh, look at that. Statue of Liberty. And then we love our flower gardens. Annalise was the start of the flower gardens. The JG for Gatsby. J Gatsby. Or J Gats. And this was, this was brilliant. I love the flower art. Like, it's just so good. And it's, the only issue is, is that because of the game, it's so difficult to get nice screenshots yeah. of. The flower art, it's just impossible, unless you do but, it in a nice, yeah. like, itty-bitty space. But the way we did it is you can see it on the map at the bottom there. Yeah. So, it's always good to see that way as well. And so there are a few details on the beaches. They don't really fit with the theme, so I guess if you visit by the Dream Address, you can check those out as well. I don't think they're that prominent. Speaking of the Dream Address, this is where you end up if you travel there by that. And there's some nice little party outfits for you to enjoy the... So, like, you... Look, so like you know you can take some screenshots you can fit in and this is back to the entrance where we have the waterfalls and of course the walkway up to Gatsby's mansion so yeah I think that's it did I miss anything out? no I guess we I guess um have you uploaded any custom designs? I guess we haven't really have we this time. Don't think so, no. so much except If for... we have any, we'll upload them. Yeah, but I guess it's Dream Address time. It is. So if you want to come and visit this island, please tag us in any screenshots you take. We're on like every social media platform. All the links will be in the description. We'd love to see what you think. Um, the DA is 5731-8489-4343. And I guess... Yeah, if you do want to see that, please do. Like Millie said, you get there's outfits for you to send screenshots to. If you want to know where you can send screenshots to, we have a link tree now, so that's links to stuff like our TikTok, our Twitter, our Instagram, even stuff on the like Kofi. We're doing all types of things at the moment, so please check all of that out if you want. And obviously, if you do say that you've visited, we'll retweet everything and maybe even include them in a future video. I think that'd be so fun to do. Um, we are hoping to do some more island tours, so if you do have your own personal dream address, please make sure to comment that down below along with what theme it is, what your island's called, and, and also, hopefully we'll get there. Yeah, certainly. And also let us know what theme you would like us to do next. I'm about to hit restart on my island, and so it'd be good to hire some ideas. We do have a few ideas knocking around there. Um, but I don't know. I, I don't know what's going to come of it. Like, we've had all sorts of ideas, I think we it's have. fair to say. But this was maybe one of your best. Thank you so much. I think this is one of your best as well. <laughs> Thank you. So we hope you all enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like, comment and subscribe. JBN Millie.